I want to just do a brief run through of our uh, camp trailer. Uh, this is a 2014 Keystone Bullet Ultralight, and this is the 212 RBS model. Uh, so it's around a 24 foot total length. Uh, living space inside is about 22 feet or so. Uh, I've had some people ask about our uh, battery and solar setup, so I just want to do a brief uh, run through on that. Might do a little bit more detail later. Uh, so I have three 12 volt batteries in this box and of course they are uh, run in parallel. Uh, this is all two gauge cable. I bought the cabling off Amazon including the connectors. Uh, over here uh, this is a, a 200 amp uh, sort of catastrophic fuse is what I have that for. All the cabling runs down uh, into this access point here. And then I've got some additional uh, components on the inside. Uh, the box I bought from a Century Plastics, I believe it is. Uh, I'll link to their page in the description. Uh, the box is actually designed to hold four 6 volt batteries perfectly. Well, I already had two brand new 12 volt batteries. Uh, the box also happens to hit, uh, fit uh, three 12 volts side by side uh, pretty well. Some spaces on the side. I've got a couple two by fours laying down in there, just sort of wedging them. So I figured uh, I'll just buy one 12 volt now. Uh, I do have the box later. If I ever want to upgrade to six volt, uh, I will be uh, prepared for that. It didn't add too much weight onto the tongue. Uh, the original owner actually had this aluminum uh, framing material. He had a, a second tier shelf framed up above the factory rack, which is down there. And so he had a four battery set up, but it ended up being almost as high as the propane tank there. And it was quite a bit of weight. I really didn't like how he framed it. Uh, I did use some of his pieces uh, just to make some cross rails there to hold the weight of this box. And it does very well. So there is the battery setup. Again, everything tied in parallel. I got a catastrophic fuse in there. Uh, this small wire right here is the solar. And uh, we'll get to that now. So right in my front pass-through, I uh, installed this vertical board here. And I screwed it to the bottom of the aluminum rails there. And uh, on this I've mounted my uh, battery cutoff switch. I have a 30 amp solar disconnect uh, that I can disengage just by pushing the button. Uh, and then up here is a 150 amp fuse. Again, uh, this is, can be shut off, which it currently is. I tend to leave it off unless I'm using my inverter. And this is a 1500 watt uh, power inverter. This is not a pure sign. This is modified. Uh, this is just an energizer. I haven't quite figured out how I want to wire this yet, which is why there's nothing hooked up to it. Uh, I've seen some folks uh, do a dedicated outlet, uh, which is probably the way I'm leaning. And uh, just to have something to plug into inside uh, occasionally. We do have a 12 volt socket inside we can plug our devices into. So. Uh, but this will be handy, uh, certainly in some situations, but I just haven't uh, quite decided how I, how I want to utilize it yet. So you can see a nice big empty space here. Uh, this was actually planned for a, perhaps a uh, upgraded solar charge controller, or perhaps an upgraded uh, charge converter. So open space, uh, yet to be determined what's going to go in there. Uh, this is the solar panel that we have. This is a Renogy uh, 100 watt panel, just the one. I do plan on doing an upgrade here at some point. We'll decide uh, what our best option is. It would be nice if this had the tilt mount on it, uh, but it does not. And uh, so this is our current solar setup, one Renogy 100 watt panel. So this is the uh, just standard Renogy uh, solar charge controller. This is a 30 amp model. 
uh, we have the uh, the uh, 12 volt output uh, running through this socket right here so I can get a read on the battery voltage uh, and then we actually use this and we plug in any uh, 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 double USB sort of 12 volt charger uh, to plug our devices in this is what we use so I can check the voltage with that and uh, so that's our setup for a solar charge controller All right, Rob, appreciate you watching. Uh, if anybody has questions uh, about my setup or any specifics, uh, leave me a comment or uh, shoot me an email and uh, be quick to respond as soon as I can. Thanks for watching again. Uh, please like and subscribe.